Even if you're completely new to genealogy research, you probably know a little bit about the United States Census. My first exposure to the U.S. Census was relatively recent. I anxiously awaited the online release of the 1940 census records in 2012, mostly because I was curious as to what I could find. What I found, though, was that I didn't know how to proceed. What was an enumeration district? How could I possibly look up ancestors if I didn't know where they lived at the time the census was taken? You may have had similar experiences. In Module 2, we're going to learn how to tap into the United States Census. My name is Kyle, and I'd like to welcome you back to Roots MOOC. Before we get going on Module 2, let's recap what we learned last week. We learned to set research goals to give our searches some direction. My personal research goal, for the purposes of this course, is to find out when my paternal grandmother's family came to the United States and where exactly they emigrated to and from. I've heard that they came from Germany, but I've never seen any documentation to back that up. We learned to start your research with what you know and with what your living ancestors know, and we saw some of the main documents you'll be using to keep your search organized. I was happy to call up my grandmother, who was just thrilled to talk to me about her side of the family. Later in the module, you can see how just this phone call helped me go back quite a ways on my ancestor chart. So how's your own research coming along? Let's continue sharing stories, tips, and tricks in the discussion board. In Module 2, we're going to use the U.S. Census to start verifying the information we have on our documents so far. We'll again visit with the librarians at the State Library of North Carolina, who will show us how to read, record, and analyze information on a census form, and how to effectively navigate the census in various formats, including electronically, in print, and on microfilm. We'll look at how the census changed over the years, and we'll learn how to tell a story just by following the trail a family left through multiple years of the U.S. Census. If you're like me, Module 1 just whet your appetite, and you can't wait to keep going. Let's see what the stories this census has to tell. I'll see you online.